This is the $700 16-inch laptop with the Intel Core i7-1355U, 16 gigs of RAM, and over 14 hours of battery life. You're looking at the Lenovo Yoga 7i Gen 8 16-inch model. And this thing packs a punch, has amazing efficiency, and wonderful build quality. Let's dive in. Now, first and foremost, mentioning the build quality, this is very, very similar to the Lenovo Yoga 9i. Love the model. My children have used this extensively for school projects, for streaming video, and it has taken so many tumbles. The amount of time I've heard this thing hit our tile floor is embarrassing, but it still takes a licking and keeps on ticking. So as far as the rigidity and build quality, it is top notch. Now looking at the assembly, you can see here the bottom cover fits into the side panel very nicely. I love the way this is assembled, so smooth so comfortable to hold in your hand. It has these really nice rounded edges for the chassis. And so when you're carrying it around, it's very comfortable to hold no catchy edges. Now, what I do love about this laptop is we have very nice two-in-one capability. It spins around very easily. So you can put it into display mode and watch some content, just enjoy it or you know show off a project to a client when you're in a meeting. Uh, pop it back around and you can go ahead and get to work. The model I have before me is the full HD, and it does have a limited color gamut range. You can see the color gamut range results coming up on the screen right now, as well as the brightness and Delta E. So this laptop with the full HD is not the most color accurate model. If you're a graphic designer or photographer or video editor that wants to have the most color accuracy possible, I would definitely recommend upgrading to the 2.5K display. However, the Full HD will work very well for your average daily uses, and if you don't care a ton about color gamut range or color accuracy. Now this is an aluminum chassis. We have an aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck, and you can see it is so thin and light. One thing I love about this laptop, if you're wanting a nice large 16 inch display, but you don't want a big, heavy, bulky laptop, this is the perfect setup. And as I mentioned, of course, they did us come in a 14 inch model as well, both on sale right now at bestbuy.com. Thank you so much for Best Buy for sponsoring this video. We'll talk more about Best Buy and some of their latest offerings a little bit later in the video. But again, thank you so much for sponsoring and sending over the Yoga 7i for me to check out. One of the most amazing aspects about this laptop is that it's on sale right now for $700 and gets over 14 hours of battery life from the 71 watt hour battery. Now, as you work your way into video editing, as well as photo editing, graphic design, and digital art inside of the Adobe Creative Suite, you're going to see about seven hours and 26 minutes of battery life for that. And then for video editing, you're going to have about four hours and 17 minutes of battery life. Now, let's go ahead and do a quick open and close test of the laptop. You can see it has a bit of a sticky hinge. So this is definitely going to be one of those two-handed opens. I think this is great because it's not very bouncy. So while using a pen, you can go ahead and write on your screen without worrying about the screen falling down on you. So we got here inside of Photoshop, I can draw on the screen. I don't even have to really hold it. And you can see it's not even bouncing. So I like that the hinge is a little snug. That way you can not have to like manage your screen like this while you're drawing. If the hinge was too weak, you would, I'm gonna push really hard right now. You would push very lightly and it would just fall down. But as I'm drawing, I'm pushing with a normal amount of tension. I can even adjust my screen and it doesn't go away from me. So I really like how snug that hinge is. Now, looking at this here, we can go ahead and zoom in, move over here. You can see that the pen sensitivity is very nice. So you draw a nice light stroke, pushing lightly. And then as I push harder, you can see it gets heavier. Now, as I lean the screen back this far, so you can see it on the top camera, you can see it pushes down a little bit easier, but if I put it where it's comfortable for me, but you can't see it as well, uh, you can see that it doesn't push down at all, even when I apply a lot more pressure in order to make that line thicker. So great tension on the screen, great pen touch sensitivity, really nice combination here. I'd like to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video and sending over the Lenovo Yoga 7i for me to check out, as well as providing some of the best prices on laptops you can find anywhere online. And right now, if you're a Best Buy member, you can get an additional discount on the Lenovo Yoga 7i on top of the fact that right now it's $700. When I placed my order for the Lenovo Yoga 7i, I was offered same day delivery and I received the laptop that very evening. So not only does Best Buy have curbside pickup, 
two day shipping on thousands of items, but even same day shipping so you can get to your creative work even faster than ever before. So if you want some of the best prices online, amazing customer service, and if you're a Best Buy member, extended return policies and better discounts, then click the link below and head on over to bestbuy.com right now. Now let's go ahead and dive into the interior of the laptop. We have a webcam here on the top bezel with a manual cutoff switch that slides across the camera. Here's a sample so you can see what it looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. All right, now as we take our view down into the keyboard deck, one of the fantastic features of this laptop is upward facing speakers here below this grill. Great audio. I'm gonna give you a quick sample so you can hear for yourself what it sounds like. Now we do have a numpad on the right side, full size shift key, full size right and left arrow keys, but we have the shrunk down up and down arrow keys. That's pretty nice. I like it has a nice organized keyboard with the Legion series. The keys kind of drop down into this area. So I think it's cool that they've gone ahead and kept it the cluster nice and organized. Now keep in mind, you're gonna push the trackpad over a little bit because of the numpad to line up with the main keyboard. So for some of you, you're not really fond of that arrangement. I'm personally not either. I like to have my keyboard dead center. I'm right-handed, so it kind of pushes me over a little bit. This is much more of a personal preference thing. It's not a bad design whatsoever. Keep in mind, if you hit the function and Q key, you can actually switch through the different fan modes. So you can go into battery saving mode, extreme performance mode, or intelligent cooling mode. So whatever one you want to be working in. For the performance benchmarks, I use the performance mode, just so you know later in the video when you see those results. Now do keep in mind you have a fingerprint reader here for quick access into your computer while logging in. And then the trackpad is a nice large trackpad. It's attached very nicely to the keyboard deck, good quality, has a nice firm click, a little on the clicky side. Um, and then of course the keyboard travel, we do have a medium keyboard travel, a little bit taller than your average Ultrabook, say comparing to like the new MacBook Airs, they have a pretty short key travel. This is a nice medium key travel, I really appreciate that. Feels very tactile, snaps back very nice, it's a comfortable keyboard to use. Here's a quick noise sample of me using both the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear what they sound like for yourself. Now I know I discussed the screen a little bit earlier, but as I've been using this laptop, this full HD screen is nice and bright, it's crisp, has nice bright colors. And so yes, the 2.5K display will give you that increased color accuracy, it'll give you increased brightness, increased color gamut range. But as I mentioned, if you are simply doing web browsing, you're a student, you wanna buy this laptop for business, you wanna be streaming video on it, checking emails, writing papers, this screen is fantastic. Love the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's plenty of screen and I think you'll be very satisfied with it. However, if you are a creator and you're looking for that extra level of color accuracy and sharpness, then that 2.5K display would be a very good upgrade for you. Can you upgrade this laptop? You can definitely upgrade the singular M.2 slot, which has a SSD of 512 gigabytes when you order it from the factory. However, if you want more storage in your laptop, you can definitely take off the bottom cover and upgrade that drive to a larger, say one terabyte or two terabyte drive. However, keep in mind that you cannot upgrade the RAM. So this laptop comes with 16 gigs of RAM and you'll be unable to upgrade it to say 32 gigs of RAM. It is soldered to the motherboard. However, one really nice feature of the Yoga 7i is that you have a micro SD card reader. This allows you to upgrade the storage without having to pull off the bottom cover and replace the hard drive. Very handy. So say you could order a micro SD card of one terabyte, slide that in there and immediately expand your storage an extra one terabyte while you're on the go. I really like that because for a not so techy person, um, it makes upgrading the storage very easy. When you slide that card in, it slides all the way in flush. And so it's very easy to use. Now, while we're looking at the ports on the Yoga 7i, we have two USB type A's, a micro SD card reader, your power button to turn on and off the laptop. And on the left side panel, we have an HDMI, which I love for hooking in for presentations, two USB type C's and your headphone jack. This laptop has fantastic connectivity for creators, for business owners, for students, 
and just people who want a really nice productivity laptop. Without further ado, what kind of performance does this laptop get? I mean, it's a $700 laptop. Can it really perform that well? Yes, it does. With other laptops around the $1,500 to $2,000 and more price point, something like the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, this laptop performs on par with those laptops. As you can see in Geekbench single core and multi-core, as well as Cinebench R23 single core and multi-core, it is right in line with other way more expensive laptops than this one. And this is an all aluminum build quality. It's, it's incredible the price to performance that we're seeing out of the Yoga 7i. Now taking a look at Photoshop, we score an 821 in Photoshop, a wonderful score. You're gonna have plenty of performance and with that 16 gigs of RAM, you're gonna be able to do really good multitasking while using Photoshop as well. Now taking a look at video editing. This is one area that I thought we would actually see less performance then we're seeing, we're seeing four minutes and 16 seconds on the 4K export time. And then as we take the charger and unplug it, we're still seeing below five minutes for the export time. So no matter if you're on battery power or you're plugged into your charger, you're gonna see great export time results for 4K video editing. Also, one area that I was very impressed by was the playback, 1080p full quality playback, 4K half quality playback, 4K full quality playback, zero drop frames in the timeline of Premiere Pro. Excellent performance from this laptop. Now keep in mind that's out of the 16,177 total frames in the project. And now let's go ahead and look at all the export times for 1080p and 4K out of Premiere Pro. As you can see, one minute and 11 seconds for 1080p, and then we have those two four minute export times. And these are all nine minute clips placed into Premiere Pro and then exported out at their full quality resolutions. On sale right now for $700, an all aluminum 16 inch laptop with a 14 inch option available as well with incredible battery life and fantastic performance. This Lenovo Yoga 7i is hard to beat, let me tell you. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.